welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sweetie for those of you who are new here so as you saw in the title today i will be well multiple days throughout the <laughs> this time i'm reading i will be recording my reactions to the last book of throne of glass which is kingdom of ash i as you saw at the beginning already read literally just 12 pages i already was just kind of like uh, i want to cry mostly because it starts off with like rowan's pov and then aelin's pov it's gonna be a journey this book i don't know if this is the biggest book i read i can't remember how big that last book from cassandra claire is but i think it might be smaller than this one that was the biggest book i had read i think it is 980 pages 20 pages away from being a, a thousand page book i feel like this is probably going to be worth a thousand pages and even then i feel like it's going to be too short because we're saying goodbye to a whole world let's see how i react i might be a total wreck i might be a mess i might be angry i might be happy i don't know i don't know what to expect sarah j mass i have no idea what you're gonna do to me i just know that i'm gonna need a breather before i start a guitar and we read that again yeah so let's go Wait, guys, but bro, I'm imagining his future family, dreaming of his future family. Like, why does that kind of break my heart right now? Okay, guys, so I'm Are they going to find her in time? How is this happening? We're not even halfway through the book. We're not even halfway through the book. such a bad character. I was gonna try to make this an aesthetic video, but this is not gonna happen because I don't really care. Update, Lorcan. We're gonna say Lorcan. Elide and Lorcan. I really didn't think they were gonna make up, but she is literally risking it all, risking her whole life just to find him. He can't die. No, no, this is not Akatar. No one comes back from the dead. I'm so scared that someone within the 13 will die. Excuse me, Aiden. You and Lysandra just made up. You cannot die. Not in this battle. Um. I was really hoping, I was really hoping, I'm sorry, Chandra, I was really, really hoping that she'd come through. A Petra Blue Blood is here. No, 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 no. Ask, ask Trim and the 13. No, no. Choosing for Aelin to forge the lock before the battle would like mean they have less of a chance defeating anyone. I mean I get that Dorian also lost some of his power and like that really like made it worse for them, but she sacrificed so much and people are still mad at her. That's what upsets me the most. Like her actual friends are not, but like They have joined the fight. They have joined the fight. Oh, oh my god. They have joined the fight. 
someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. The fact that only the 13 have died and not that many other people have, that means someone's gonna die. Together like father and son, Aiden and Gabriel, they finally, oh man, that's my heart. I did not, I did not need that graphic. I did not need that graphic description of Gabriel's dad right after Aiden and Gabriel decided together as one, as father and son. Why? Why would you do that? Mass. I have I have a bone to pick with you. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why? 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 I am liking that maybe it is Irene that saves the world. Update. I look like a bald egg. Maeve is dead. Erwin. Erwin. Erwan. Erwan. That makes sense. Erwan. Erwin. I keep I, I was saying Irwin for some reason. Anyway, he's dead. Irene and Aylin, let's go. She's getting crowned and I wanna cry. Every step, every path she had taken led her here. I don't even know where my post-its are at and I don't care. I don't wanna say goodbye to these characters. Aylin, Ash River, White Hort, Galanthius, Queen of Terrors. Here's to hoping that I am within the frame. Okay, I've got this bad boy here. It's been a day since I finished it. I finished it yesterday. I've collected my thoughts. I even already wrote a review on Goodreads and everything. We've completed the last book of the Throne of Glass series. I have officially read this whole series. Can you see what I'm doing this whole series? In this portion of the video, I'm going to kind of talk about my th final thoughts about the full series, talk about the final book and my rating, my favorite books and all of that. So let's start off with Kingdom of Ash. So as you all saw, <laughs> I went through so many emotions reading this book. This book, I remember there was a point where I was so sucked in, I kept forgetting to like tab my reactions that they're not an accurate representation of to how I actually was feeling in the moment when I was reading it. My rating for this book will be a 4.5 out of 5. I know, I know, this is one of those books where like you have to give it a 5. I feel like everyone that's read it just adores this book and they give it a five star rating. And it was so, so close. It should be a 4.75, but there's just some things that like, my preference wise, there it was the reason why I just did not give it more than a 4.5 out of five. 4.5 out of five, this book is tied in place with Empire of Storms. And let me tell you, this book, the reason why it wasn't a five out of five was because there was just so much preparation for the actual battle. And it all made a lot of sense. Like, don't get me wrong, that preparation, all that writing to get to those final battles, it just made a lot, a lot of sense. Everything was just really, really well written and it made so much sense why there was so much preparation. Like. I completely get it, especially because at the end of Empire of Storms, everyone just kind of like splits off and does a bunch of different tasks to be able to defeat the final boss, basically. I <laughs> did not have the attention span for it sometimes. I noticed myself skimming through some areas that would lull a little, and I'd stop myself because I'm just like, no, 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 no. We want to enjoy this book fully. Because of that, I realized it was just, I just really wanted to get to the battles. I wanted to see everyone reunite. I just wanted that grand, like, action-packed battle. And you don't really get that until, like, maybe this much in that's the reason why don't get like i said don't get me wrong there's a lot a lot of good stuff that happens between the front cover to the back cover it's really really good but just because of that i did have to dock off a few points i kind of like that dorian and 
Manon didn't end up together necessarily, but maybe there's a spark of something that they can try in the future. So it kind of was implied that they might get together. There's just so much that I like of the ending. So many like good, good things that happen and so many tragic things that happen. I also really appreciate that Manon didn't get with Dorian because she's mourning the 13. I feel like that kind of was a good resolution for her. Her trying to like finally be what she was meant to be, which was the peace between the Crochen and the Iron Teeth witches. God, I just like the whole story so much. Oh my God, the amount of emotions it elicited out of me was just so intense. I appreciate the patience that Rowan had for Aelin after they found her. The bond between Fenris and Aelin because them having to kind of stick it through with each other when they were with Maeve, I love that bond. Gabriel's dead death was so <laughs> tragic. <laughs> like I really did not need a description of what he looked dead. I did it especially because Aiden and Gabriel were finally like okay father and son we're gonna do this and Gabriel knowing that in order to give Aiden a chance for a future he needed to sacrifice himself and Aiden then seeing his father dead like that that one hurt that one really hurt my my heart my soul the sacrifice of the 13 thinking about it makes me want to cry all over again oh those moments were just so righteous tragic and good 4.5 out of 5 for me very very close to a 5 super super close to a 5 i'm gonna have so much withdrawals now that i'm done with this series moving on to my overall review of the series this is definitely a 5 out of 5 series for me. I think it did a really good job of kind of developing the characters in the world. And it has been a very, very long time since I read a series where I was so invested in the characters. I was so invested in the world that once I was done, I was just left feeling kind of like, oh, okay back to human life now what do i do with myself this is definitely one of my top series that i would recommend for anyone especially for fantasy readers i definitely recommend reading this series now if i'm reading this what my favorite book was after reading all of them my favorite book is still air of fire the character development was just beautiful in this and I think Aelin accepting who she was is what really sold it for me. So Air of Fire is my favorite. Then my second is tied between Empire of Storms and Kingdom of Ash. So those were both 4.5 out of 5s. Queen of Shadows is my third. I would say Crown of Midnight, my fourth. The Assassin's Blade, my fifth. Tower of Dawn, my sixth. And Throne of Glass my seventh so throne of class was definitely the last one but my top three would be these right here air of fire empire of storms and kingdom of ash with empire of storms and kingdom of ash being tied for second place and then queen of shadows would be third i guess technically but these would be my top three books so yeah that was a journey i really don't know what to do with myself now i really don't yeah that's me reading kingdom of, kingdom of ash thank you all for watching have a beautiful day and i will see you all next time bye